Alright, hello everyone, welcome to Mount of Shame! Today we have Star Renegades, a 2020 release roguelike from Massive Damage Inc. And when I saw it start with this, I needed to uh, get the, the recording starting very quickly, so I'm going to be quiet and let's watch it. Well, that is a damn cool anime intro. Damn good. Okay, what a way to paint the picture. And if I thought the art style and colors on the on the Steam page weren't enough, the vibrant pinks and such, that is, that is very good. Yes, okay. I always thought this game was going to be something I'd like. I'm pretty sure it's on my wish list for a time as well. So, uh, I suppose this is, um... Just proving that uh, assumption, but make sure we can get the resolution up. There we go. Looks like the recording's working fine. Yeah, I've actually been avoiding playing this um, for a while. I when you see uh, later, I I really did put, keep pushing this back because I was like, I'm gonna like this game. I'm gonna like this game a lot. I'm gonna like this game. I don't want to play it just yet. I feel like it needs to be something. But honestly, with the week we've had of all the terrible games, I think it's about time we play something good. That being said, I think the last couple of games were okay. Let me check. It doesn't matter. Point is, point is, because I may not release them in the right order, so you might not be... I had a few bad games in a row, and I've got a few bad games coming up. At least I think they're bad. They're horror. Uh, something like that. Um, but Star Renegades sounds like my sort of game, so I'm just going to press play. In hope that I'm not proven wrong again. If I'm proven wrong about a game being good when it's actually bad, oh, bad when it's actually good, that's fine. But the other way around, mm, not a fan. Oh, it's, it's a Necron style ship. Whatever it is, it's too powerful, clearly. Alright, well that's a bad start for her, yes. <clears throat> Alright, over Norish, a small force of mysterious raiders destroys an, the mighty... The surviving Starfires attempt to regroup, regroup, pursued by relentless enemy squadrons. Were there any left besides me? Alright. Uh, Win, answer me! I know you're still alive! Yeah, I'm fine, Dav. Those enemy fires are good. Really good. I'm lucky I managed to land in one piece. You get points for missing all those buildings, too. Ah, sub sub crud. We got more of those fighters on the tail. Where are they coming from? I landed by 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 the train to Fort Garen. If I get back to base in time, 
You get those anti-fighter guns online. My thoughts exactly. That'll be a nice surprise for those fighters following me. Great plan. I'll calm you when I'm at the base. Over and out. <clears throat> Never give me an 80s, um, 80s style cartoony thing. But, let's have a look what we got here first. Not the best use of taxpayer credits. Citizen. Oh, hello. What does the citizen have to say? Oh, sure. The government tells us some mysterious fleet just appears out of nowhere. Next thing you know, they pass some laws confiscating massive stockpiles of mega nuclear material. Even though it's my own right to own it. <clears throat> oh, God. Huh? Who would have thought the Norris would ever be close to a fight like this? And right before tourist season also. Ugh, I'll be ruined. I'm feeling like these people are the... Aren't the nicest bunch, are they? Oh, there's still someone here. You know what? Sure. Wait, excuse me. You know what? Sure. These raiders from another dimension just destroyed our armada. But I think we should hear, them, hear out what they plan to do post-occupation. Made they're into low taxes and grinding the poor into dust. There's some policy I can get behind. Is this just a city of Republicans? I guess it uh, makes me feel not so bad if these people die, I guess. Uh, not they want Republicans to die, but like, all of these people seem like terrible people. Thank you, sir, ma'am. You pleased to say about that smoking wreckage? We have children here. Okay, that's about... Okay, I feel like there's more important things to be done doing, but at least that one is sort of like, okay, fair enough. You, you care about someone other than yourself. Well, sort of. I'm picking up some strange signatures on a train. Somebody tells me they aren't commuters. These raiders have ground troops too then, eh? Let's see how they are at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Prepare to meet thy my doom. I think you meant your doom. Ugh, never mind. This will be a cinch. I'll just take him out for cleave. Alright, combat in Star, in Star Renegades is deterministic. Meaning you can see your enemy's actions before they execute, allowing you to defend, crit, stagger, or break them. All actions are displayed in the timeline according to the execution time in the round, except for instant actions, which are effect executed immediately. Each round is 60 seconds. A unit's current health is shown at the status bar atop their heads, and consists of shields, health, and armor. Any effects are also displayed above the status bars. On enemies, you can see the action they're going to execute. Shields regenerate at the end of every combat. Armor can only be damaged after shield is depleted. Health and armor can be healed and repaired during camping or from health kits or armor stations found throughout your mission. Okay, seems reasonable. So I can cleave and that apparently brings my speed up all the way there. That's fine. So is this like literally just an action turn-based RPG? Because if so, I'm... I'm on board. He may be dumb, but I should probably hit him before he hits me. I'll rec recalibrate and crit him with a slash. Alright. Crit often occurs when a unit is hit before they can execute their action. The crit bonus is, is shown before the attacking powers main information. Crits do extra damage, break enemies' attack, pierce their armor or shields, damage armor, or have other devastating effects. Be careful though. Enemies can also crit your heroes if they hit before they execute their attack. Okay, so I said that, and it says I'm going to crit, so. Alright, their shield is down, so now we can start damaging them properly. He does his fire, but thankfully I'm still defended by my own shields. That got his attention. I'll smash him with a hue to break him and stall his attack. Okay, attacks can stagger an enemy action, delaying it to execute later in the round, allowing your squad to execute more actions and crits before an enemy can act. The amount of stagger on attack will do it when crits are shown in green besides the stagger delay icon. When, with bevel planning, you can chain attacks together and mag land multiple staggers on the enemy and break them by pushing beyond that to the next round. However, enemies have a stagger limit, knowing how many times they can be staggered before they are immune. This is shown on timeline besides their portrait. The enemy's stagger limit increases again when they execute not out an action. Enemy cannot be staggered beyond the end of the next round. Alright, so... That's going to crit, and it's going to break them. So good. This shows me first. 
but I do not understand entirely what's selling for me to do so far, so... Time to end this. A slash should finish the job. Okay, it'll be a crit, because they only move that much, whereas it's an instantaneous action. I think I get it. So, some attacks go so fast that you can just play them. Others take a bit of build-up. But if the build-up gets inter interrupted, you're screwed. Gotcha. Okay, well, I'm at the base, and just as I thought, to be hit with some kind of EMP. Well, at least the coast is... Oh, teleport in. Union techs have been researching that for decades. How do these guys do it? They may be more advanced than us, but at least we can take them out of the fight. Let's see how I do against this next one. Hey, just remember you're training and you'll be fine. A titan hand. Whoa, I guess the earth shifted enough to expose one of these titan hands. Oh. Oh. Okay. Was that just something they used? Or is it like a... A war situation? That they may have... Maybe it's a post-apocalyptic scenario. The Imperium will make you burn. Sounds like you could use some ointment for that. Now, let's try a cleave. I feel like a cleave isn't a good idea because he's going to interrupt and... That sounds like a really bad idea, but okay. Okay. Oh no! Wait, how did she attack first? I'm gonna ask. Ow, that still hurt a lot though. Whoops, that didn't work. Maybe a lighter touch. Let's try Hugh. All attacks have core damage type. Describes what kind of attack they are. Light, normal, heavy, flurry, AoE, counter, and combo attacks. Adversaries may be weak to certain core damage types and take extra damage from them. However, they can also be resistant or even immune to certain types of damage. Okay. So, he's, he's just using Immolate. It doesn't say what he's immune to. Maybe it's immune to... That's armor. I see. Um... Okay. Weak versus light, so... Okay, well at least it doesn't need to fire at me twice, which is good. Now it's better. Time to slash it for another break. Okay, so you're trying to get as many as you can. As many breaks as you can in one turn, I suppose. His break limit is empty. So much for delaying him. I have to defend to minimize damage for slam attack. Okay. Ow? Ow! You sick of you, pal. Let's try to crack your arm with Sunder. Alright. We'll still get a crit somehow. However, we will also... Weak versus normal. Okay. We'll also break eight of his armor, which should get him to no armor. Very nice. You'd think that would stop his attack, but apparently not. Oh no, it did. It did stop his attack. His arm is completely broken. Now to finish him off, I'll crit him with a sta slash. Alright. Whoa, I could use those guns right about now. I got a trail of fighters behind me. Yeah, roger that. Yeesh, little sister get rescue, I guess. Uh, little sister, okay. Fort Garen saw a lot of action in the Flux Wars, but now it's mostly used for training. Um, can I only click over there? Like, the banners also exist. AA gun, okay. I guess I can only click there. Or maybe you can't. Oh, I could click little... Okay, so it's like a little navigational area between zones. Gotcha. I guess it's how they decide when when battles occur. All right, Dav, the ga guns are powered up. Huh. I'll lead those fires to you. It'd be like shooting a zub zubs in a barrel. Ah, well, where did that ominous otherworldly ship come from? 
I got a bad feeling about... Oh, God. Davin, pull up! Something else took remote control of the guns! Yeah, I guess I botched the landing. <laughs> Dav, you're alive. We gotta get out of here. Can you walk? I'm fine, just a little shaken. How was a close call? Yeah. I found what you're looking for, mother. He's pathetic. Just as you said he'd be. Your life is nothing. Can't say he's dead, right? No time for jokes, Win. Remember, find his weakness and exploit it again and again. Maybe I'm sounding like Dad right now. <laughs> Inspection mode to view unit stats. Okay. It weaknesses, strengths, resistances, and immunities. When tagging an enemy, things are shown. Prediction, outcome of your actions, blah, blah, blah. Kill shot indicator display. Late kill indicator means the enemy will execute their action before dying. Um... Damage predictions you in kill shots indicates not 100% accurate. Well, welcome to the world, I guess. All right, so inspect units. Hopefully, that doesn't turn up. But oh, it does. It's gonna turn. Okay. All right, no, it doesn't. Okay, so it says 125 damage versus health. Yes, yeah, two armor break ability. Yes, yeah, crit bonus. Its traits is it resists light attacks, but is weak against heavy attacks. Okay. So I'm going to use a heavy attack. Which, um, can I tell which one's which? Blade throw does not feel heavy. I'm guessing that one's light. But that's light, that's medium, and I'm guessing... That might be heavy? Yeah, that is heavy. Okay. AoE, flurry, got it. So that's heavy. So it's vivisecting. Weak versus heavy. And then it's also her turn. Okay. Now, it says slight there, but I think cleave would be the best bet. They also get to hit though, which is bad. Um, do I have any other heavies? Just, just, just that one. Hmm. He's weak, he's, he's, he's strong versus that. Ah, use cleave. And it's not perfect, and he will get the crit, but, you know. Oh boy, that took down quite a lot. Good thing shields repair after combat. Oh, those shield, that was just massive shield shot. Yeah, I still think that was a good idea. Remember when that combo deck used to practice? The one that broke, da broke Dad's grab hover with Widow doing? Yeah, that's the one. Now it's a good time to try it out. Good idea. Let's make sure we gather enough fury first. Alright. Heroes can generate fury. Um, crits generate one fury. While breaks generate three furies. Combos are special maneuvers that cost fury. Executed by two of your heroes simultaneously. Each combo can only be executed once per combat. Okay. Combos are only available for heroes that have strong relationships. Which can be increased during camping. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Well, it's saying I should I shouldn't do that because I can't currently. Um, let's do a vivisect. Ooh, that's saying it will actually break. Oh, it's, it's saying yes, he'll crit, he'll break. So that's fine. Okay. Now it really doesn't matter what he uses. She uses, so she can just get away with using another heavy to get up close. Yes, he's breaking. He's broken now, which is good. And we're down to his health. And we're breaking through his armor too, which is even better. Okay, cool. So, big thing is he's currently going to crit, which is a bad thing. But with both of us doing it, it's late kill. Okay. But it does mean kill though. So, even get a sight slash as long as he's attacking him, it shouldn't matter. So, if I defend, I don't think I'll be able to break him with any of my abilities. So let's defend. If you're attacked, I don't want you to be hurt. But if he's going to kill it anyway... Oh, God. That didn't actually do as much damage as I was expecting, but, you know. 
Yeah, that was fine. Perfect. A temporary setback. Mother shall soon have a victory. Stay back, worm. I'll take care of this guy. When he lacks in charisma, he makes up for it in hideousness. Mother only wants you, Davin Sphinx. She has no interest in the female. Hey, no way you're doing this solo, Dav. We need to work together to defeat him. Alright, let's find out what, what he's weak against, I suppose. So, 25 plus mark. So he's going to mark me first. Gotcha. And he's got so much health. He's not weak to anything. And he's got so much armor. And he can break 18 of ours as a go. This is not going to be easy. Gotcha. Well, what I need to do then is focus on breaking his armor. Okay, he's going to attack Davik. With half his health. So if I defend, for example. And then I get her to work on the smashy smash. Let's do Sunder. It's a normal attack. You get me a little bit closer and it'll do 8 damage to his armor. Don't know if I can do that when he's um, got his shield on, but I guess we'll find out. Nope, we can't when he's got his shield on. That's a shame. Okay. That worked surprisingly effectively. Enough. This takes too far long. And the results are inevitable. Dav, get back. Be careful. Alright, once again, Dav is the one being attacked. So once again, I think I need to break him. Not really. Hmm. Uh-oh. He's got a late kill on him. That means he's going to die no matter what next turn. Shoot. Um, Siphon Slam, I guess. Didn't break him, but... Holy hell. No, this can't be happening. Mother, I've done what you asked. Scream me back. It can't last much longer. He can. You had like, you still had all your stuff. All of your everything. Uh, don't give up, Dav. I can't do this without you. Dav, come on. Please, get up. Please. I, I can't, I can't do this. Ooh, the throne room is where you can build really details about the Imperium hierarchy, currently known leaders and behemoths and adversaries. From time to time, you'll be brought here to witness events such as deaths, promotions, in introductions within the Imperium. Okay. Adversaries are elite soldiers of the Imperium. They are stronger, tougher, and have unique special traits and abilities. They also have unique personalities, so no two adversaries are the same. Adversaries. Well, that's interesting. They can also be promoted, evolve, and grow stronger whenever they're able to defeat you. They're usually guarding an epic or rare reward crate. Ooh. Honestly, that's fun. Okay. Oh. So I can see him. Harold Behemoth. He's level 10. He's got strength, immunity, elite, weakness, etc. Okay. Bunch of other people I don't know anything about yet. Norris, Menku, Dagon. Okay. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Ah, there. I found them. That's where the Imperium invade next. They must have already started their attack. Alright, only one last thing, last thing you have to do is turn you on. Beautiful. All systems go. Maybe this fight isn't over yet after all. I did a pretty good job making you look like a run-of-the-mill servo bot. Should come in handy. Now, just in. We have to go outside. I'll let you lead the way. Oh, am I a robot? I guess I'm a robot. I don't think it's going to be very much in the lab to do, so let's just leave the bunker. Oh, God. These buildings aren't usually on fire. The attacks just ended, but they'll be back soon to finish the job. So we have to hurry. The entry point's right over there. 
Look, pay attention, J5. You need to walk through this portal and deliver a very important message for me. Find Professor Zurich. They're the only person I can trust. It might be a little testy, but that's just how geniuses are sometimes. Find them and play the message it gave you. Can you do that? Hmm. I'll take that as yes. Countless lives depend on you doing that. Try not to they give you a big head or sphere, I suppose. Get through the portal when you're ready. Hmm? No, don't worry about me. Your mission is only thing that matters anymore. Hmm. Hmm? Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's hope this were. Wow. He made it. Good. Now, here's hoping he can... Ugh. There you are. Well, what are you waiting for? You got me, haven't you? Mm. How many of you... How many of you told me what Davin meant for you? For that, I thank you. I wish Davin were here so you could tell him directly. Thank you, Win. A moment of silence for our fallen warrior, please. Listen, Messenger Bart. I saw you materialize out of nowhere. If you need to conquer our galaxy from the Never Round, just let me know. I can hook you up. Remember me when you're on top. God damn it. What's of everyone in this empire being horrible? Are these guys also meant to be the bad guys? We've been protecting interdimensional invasions for years now, and the Central Committee never allocates funds we need. Mark my words, it'll be the end of the Union, just for a measly few quadrillion credits. I think this will blow over. In the meantime, I'm going to be relaxing in my deep, in my deeply buried bunker. All this interdimensional invasion talk is just a bogus conspiracy theory nonsense, directly planted in our brains by the secret cabal of corporate CEOs that control governing council and therefore us. I'm telling ya, it was all quantum flatulence phenomenon. I wrote about the thesis on them, so don't you go saying otherwise. What the heck is with these people? I haven't seen this much commotion here since we proved the non-existence of space whales. I'll remember that till the day I die. Who would have thought physicists would get so violent? Um, I'm not saying those signals we caught were interventional extra extraterrestrial aliens, but if they were, I just hope I'm not going to get probed. I just hope this is an interventional invasion, and then it'll be all over for life day. <laughs> this is giving me serious Hans, are we the baddies vibes, but anyway. Now, go on to the business at hand. Some of you approached me wondering what our council plans to do about these raiders. The ones destroyed the armada, killed Colonel Sphinx, and as a member of the Joint Chiefs, let me just say, we have a plan. We'll rebuild the armada, stronger than ever. We'll send that vessel back to hell where it came from. Okay. What did I say about not being... Ugh. Come here and give me whatever message you have. I'm in the middle of studying of the most important unexplainable quantum phenomenon of my career. So whatever this is, I hope it's really reality searching. Wow, he, she's a douche. Hello, Dr. Zurich. Okay, I guess that counts. Let me cut to the chase. I'm you, you're me. We're from different realities. I know it's highly confusing even to you. I've sent a hyper-advanced servo bot across the quantum divide to speak to you, to warn you. Your reality is under attack even as we speak. Is this anything to do with the... Q, the Q71 ent entanglement phenomenon you detected over Norish? Precisely. You certainly alerted the Star Council, and they've dispatched the Amara to investigate. You'll learn very soon the Amara has been destroyed by a starship of unimaginable power, cloaked in entanglement. The ship is from another reality, and its goal is to conquer your entire galaxy. I know this because Zori conquered mine. I've got to go. Warn them? It's too late. But the Council calls, seeking your brilliant expertise on parallel realities? You'll need to have a plan ready. And that's where I come in. I know these invaders' next move and how you can stop them. If you follow my lead, your world has a shot. But if you fail, promise me you'll send Justin through the next reality that when they invade. Because they will never stop. Now listen up. Here's the plan. The first step is this. To not press right click while you're bloody going somewhere. Oh god damn it. Well, I missed out on that unfortunately. Oh well. 
Guess I don't know what the first step is. Finally, a chance to show my parental finger I can amount to something. Thank you, mother. Alright, he's only level one, so fair enough. Also. Huh. Okay. Why can we even view those? Alright, looks like we've got multiple things to deal with. Okay. Sorry about that. The engineer said landing would be smoother. I've gone through worse landings lately. Just as long as Justin survived, success in my book. <laughs> yeah, you should help your companions with their pods. It seems they're having a little trouble with the hatches. Oh, come on, Justin. Help me out. Okay. It looks pretty cool. How's the trip? Oh, praise Lord Botula for delivering us safely to the battlefield. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Times be praise, etc., etc. I get it. Look, you're not going to try and convert me again, are you? Ooh. There's multiple ways around, I see. <laughs> I'm locked and loaded. Raid roll out. Let's smoke these bo bogeys. What are you doing? Just talking like a space marine. Don't like it? I can switch to Nodo Nordo style. Yeah, why don't you do that? Ah, uh, no problemo. Normal is, boyo. Enough chit chat. Move out and take control of the Imperium base. Kill anything that slows you down. Don't get cocky, though. One of their elite officers will be stationed at the base. You'll have to go for him. We'll be in contact to provide mission specs along the way. Now lock and load, boyos. Time to tag and bag some Imperial drones. Now roll out. <laughs> See, I told you that's how Space Marines talk. My spiritual teachings tell me that both paths forward are favored for our objective. Your wisdom clearly knows no bounds. Boss lady, just so you know, these fundamentalists aren't big on sarcasm. This is true. We preach a radical form of honest discourse to the void of exaggeration or any form of subtlety. No, that was my demonstration of sarcasm, you, you, you idiot human. Am I? Oh, not bad. Okay, so we go down south, which has a spider drone, a chest. Ooh, I like the chest. And another spider drone. Okay. And some shields. And then the thing. Or we got north, which has a Waven, a DNA vat. I mean, an armor station, but no chest. Although let's have an Imperium tech that's at the end though. Now technically, there's nothing stopping us doing both, I assume. Hmm. The crate only says it contains credits, so let's go to north for now. Just because I want to see what the DNA vault is, I feel like that's going to be something about leveling me up. Alright. So, the big thing we got to try and work out here is, wow, I'm a lot weaker now. Okay, well this will crit. If I use a cleave, it will crit. Wait, no, they will crit. Ooh. If I use a cleave, they will crit. Oops. Okay, if I use a cleave, though, I will crit. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so I'm cleaning this one already. So we need to do it on the other one if we can. Oh! Okay, that'll crit both of them. Fair enough, that's good. And then a straight shot. Now, I should obviously look at what these things actually also do, but at the moment, I think breaking them and critting them is probably a, not a bad idea. It does say they're flying grounded when stunned, so that's about all it says. It looks like we'll all crit and they won't even get to um, attack. So, wow, that one will be a lot closer to death. So, let's do it. Get a crit. Get another crit. Shields go down and. There we go. Armor break. Alright, now the shields are the only thing that damages. That's fine. However, it does look like it just one shot my shields. 
Okay, grand. They one shot with shields on the um, the board, the uh, star, star, star lord clone. Okay, I think we're gonna go for this one, and then I'm gonna use discharge again and get both of them, which will hopefully be a kill shot. Yes, and a crit, and then. But damn, this guy's weak. Um, another kill shot on him. Okay, so we should kill them both. Okay, one's gone. And then... The other's gone. And I think all we lost was two armor. So, that's not terrible. Hey, we even got... Well, he got his shields back. And we even got some DNA. That's nice. I'm glad I bottled up the entirety of my negative experiences from childhood so I can now unleash them on you all from full of down deaths. Ooh, Titan Hand. Oh no, I can't go back now. I've chosen my path. Oh, that's bad. The mystery of magic. The mystique of Titan Hands. In the end, it's just a hand, but really, really old hand. I know a few collectors who'd pay top dollar for a Titan Hand like this. Okay, it's a shame that we can't go back but I guess it makes some semblance of sense I guess we gotta make our choices up early as to what we find is most valuable Ooh, level up once you've turned enough DNA you can level up your heroes levels are reset when you return to the level the renegade base and jump to next dimension use DNA to decide who you wish to level up leveling up will increase damage health and possibility of new power or camping card okay all right, so we have seven, which means we can up upgrade one. Now the thing is, no one is currently that low on health or armor. However, this saboteur's shields is really terrible. Gains trick shot can only be executed once per combat. Titan strength, okay. Or taunt enemy. Now it does appear that it's only going to give armor or health and not shield. So, hmm. That being said, he feels like the weakest, so I'm thinking I'm just going to give it to him. I do you like the idea we can level up every single ground, though? That's pretty cool. Ooh, there's other things here, too. Formation. Imperium. Oh, that's going back to here. Yes, don't need to do that now. Okay. What else is there? It doesn't really matter. Let's um go. Alright, we got another drone. And a laser blasting person on the way. So if we slash, we can hopefully... Ooh, that... Hmm. Which one's the bigger... Okay, which one can first of all? Inspect units. What is your weakness? You do not have one. Okay. So I'm just going to slash one of you. I think I might slash the, the drone. Oh, I think I already have slashed the drone. So that's fine. All right. So, Discharge is fairly useful, obviously. Now, well, let's go for a Discharge then. That should be a crit on both of them as well. Good, good, good. And then we've got a... Straight Shot or a Blitz. Now, if I get the Straight Shot, does that kill him yet? No. If I use a Blitz, does that kill him? No. Hmm. I think I will do it on that one just so the uh, multi shot next turn by the droid kills him. We should be again getting all dead by next turn. Now, the thing is, as long as they're not attacking him, it should be fine. Which, you know, in, in honestly, they could be attacking him. They are attacking him. Oh, well, we didn't, he didn't actually lose any more armor, which is good. So that's about as good as it possibly could have went. Yes. Okay. So we'll start off. By slashing our friendly neighborhood um, trooper here. We'll use discharge to hopefully kill both of them. And a straight shot to finish off this guy. Yeah, that kills that one. And we're both going to kill this guy. Okay, the combat isn't too bad. It also seems to be roguelike in a different way than what I'd usually expect. Um, it's roguelike in a way that essentially... Um, I don't think we're meant to lose all the time, but we could. And it sounds like losing is important to level up our enemies. But it looks like we won't lose anything per se besides our current run when we go to quote-unquote another reality. 
So we're basically finding these people across multiple realities, which is interesting, I suppose. Hmm. What is Titan Strength? You know, you've actually been pretty damn powerful, though, so I will actually give it to you. Like, your multi-killing ability is really quite good. I don't want you to die, so... Press a bit of machinery. Looks like they aren't online, though. Wouldn't want to be in the business at the end of this baby. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm envious of the size of this gun. It is a very nice gun. Alright, I guess we just keep on moving because I can't see anything else here. Hmm. This is like a secret somewhere, but I don't think there is. It looks like this is it. Just a combat node. Okay, then the next one is an armor node. Only one person has had damaged armor, but this guy doesn't even have armor. I think I'm going to have to give it to the Archon, just because, once again, he doesn't have any armor whatsoever. Really wish I could grab that before I had the combat with him, but anyway. If I kill these guys, we can all go home, probably. Okay, so if I lose, he gets more powerful. If I win... Well, I know what happens, to be honest. I think we still probably fight more than once. Now, our first thing is probably take down the, this other guy. So, if we start with... Okay, they'll both... Wait, let's have a slash on this guy. I will use... I will use... Ooh, Titans. Now, oh, that's cool. Use Discharge, first of all. That will break our first guy. So, that's nice. And then we just got the hero to deal with. So, that doesn't break him. Trick Shot. That... Wait, Trick Shot does seem to stun him. Yeah, that stuns him. Oh, I like that one. Let's do that one. Haha! <laughs> Good one. That means he can't attack. And now this guy gets knocked over by the massive barrage of death we're putting on him. Fantastic. I like it. The mother. Alright, so he's jumped straight up in, so... Once again, we slash. Hmm, I feel like we can't interrupt anyone. She's being attacked in both sides, so let's use a defend. Alright, now he can probably deal with a discharge. Because hopefully we can kill this one before things go bad. So, if I use a blitz or a straight shot... I'll kill him, but I'll kill him late. That's okay, because the person who's going to get attacked is defending. So it's fine. So, we attack with that. Good. 28, that's not too much for her. Alright, good, good. Hey, so far so good. I think this is a fantastic start. There, now, this, now this fight should go my way. If they attack, they'll get a little surprise. Okay. Huh. I'm unsure as to what they're talking about. Reduced damage, is that just a surprise that we're getting reduced damage? Okay, well let's bestow some shields to the person who's just lost their shields. Okay. And then use a straight shot. Yep, I think that was the uh, most efficient way I could do that. Alright, let's um, use a... Hmm... Slash. And we'll use a... Discharge. Not that that's very strong. We just leave one of them. I mean, we're well, good. Still no health damage. I hope there's a bonus for this, because if so, we're about to grab it. Go for it.
We already know what's gonna happen, so yeah. And we did so without even having any problems. Camping card. Defeated adversary. Uh Lieutenant Defeat adversary lieutenant together, exhaust when used. So it's between dynamic duo, between her and him. Cool. I mean to be fair, yes. There this is my fault, right, mother? Oh, so he's just killed now, like blanketly killed. That's okay. Ooh, a mysterious box. How convenient. Ooh, I do like mysterious boxes. Okay, so. We have three weapons choices. Two of them are for our main girl, and one is for... I mean, he wasn't... He didn't do a bad job, but I'm pairing it up mostly because he's, like... Yeah, the, the weakest amongst us. So I think, honestly, these two got level ups. Hmm. He also has the lowest... He also has the lowest attack. No, let's give in to the particle sword thing. That'll be fine. So equip. Insufficient level. Oh, 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 that's interesting. Wait, I can only equip it be decades before you can produce tech like this. Imperium tech is more advanced now in every way, so feel free to steal everything you can. I wouldn't mind the opportunity to analyze it. The Imperium must have a huge R&D budget, and yet the actual Imperium soldiers are multiplicity stupid. What gives? My best guess would be the cross quantum journey, journey takes a toll on brain functions. This would explain why they just network to advance AI neural net. Although, anyone's guess is why they refer to the AI as mother. So you're telling me we're facing a mind, an army of mindless psychotic drone soldiers with mummy issues? Yeah. That's very clearly what you're fighting. Yes, correct. Now, I do wonder, can we keep on fighting in this world until we die now? Is that the idea? Is that where the rogue light element comes in? Like, am I going to keep these levels and then lose everything at the end, except for whatever, whatever the cards I've gained in camping or whatever? I don't know. Preach? Yeah. Mm. I feel at this point, it's got to be my my girl here because she did such a good job she continues to do a fantastic job so great job you slice and dice those boogies now the base belongs to us you've earned a break step camp get some rest and we'll push on in the morning okay so we're still in the same universe all right so that's interesting camping allows your heroes to rest and gain affection towards each other each hero has their own set of camping cards which you can play to themselves or other heroes. Camping co costs activation points which you can grant special effects, regenerate lost health, repair armor, and increase infection. Action points are shared between all hero cards and vary in the action costs. Once you've used up all your action points, your squad will go to sleep. As your heroes gain affection for another, they, they strengthen their relationship and even unlock conversational bonuses like beneficial traits, combo powers, and sometimes even progenity. Heroes. New heroes. Oh, really? Progeny heroes. So they have children? That seems a little weird. Alright, well, let's become friends with the weird... This guy. I will add you to my mailing list. You're the best. Okay, what else options do we have here? We have pamphlets. Max shields. Last two combats. We have charming rogue. Attacks, drain shields. Last two combats. We have comforting words. Well, everyone's health is at max, right? So I don't need that. I think, honestly, the worst thing is giving them a pamphlet is clearly the best way to go. Let's give it to the people who don't have very... My dude! Praise the bounty. My god. Okay. And let's give... Honestly, you're probably the best because, once again, you level things up. Okay. And that's really all we can do at the moment. There's not much point in, in um, healing when... Oh, then again... I assume there's no reason not to. But, yeah. Heal 50% health isn't really useful. But the 4 affection will. Bodacious! Okay. 
Fascinating. All right, so we've got a few more people we can run into, and some of them look a lot stronger than what we've already dealt with. Gotcha. I hope this goes well. It's my last tour. The level three Basilisk. Is that who we're going to go against this time? Okay, they're all level three. So this is level two, so that's the one I want to come across next. But oh well. Listen up, team. I have missed an update. Right now, the Imperium can only open small temporary dimensional gates, but they found a way to around this constraint by using a Titan core. The ancient ore buried deep within the grounds of the Titan plants. The atomic structure of these cores has a high degree of quantum stability. The Imperium, if the Imperium managed to get a hold of these energy sources, they'll be able to open up multi-dimensional gate that's been big enough to hold a full sail invasion force. By the Titans. We are still allowed to invade or overwhelm the galaxy. So, you grasp the situa you gravity situation. We'll just make sure they have they never get to the Titan Core. We've learned the Imperium will send a behemoth to remove the Titan Core in three days. If you stop them here, we can thwart their invasion plans. The, inv the Imperium's carved up the force fields, hoping to slow you down. Fortunately, Justin here is able to hack their systems. The professor says it's a new quantum feedback device she engineered for Sol Imperium gear, but I'm not sure. J5 only has enough energy for three barrier breaches before you need to recharge for the night. So keep a close eye on your time and resources. Now, J5's at J5's command. Well out. So I think that I'm not the leader after all. Okay. When a behemoth is inbound, you have a limited amount of days to reach the landing zone and intercept it before the planet is destroyed. Whoa. Choose your path wisely to the landing zone. Marked by objective marker. If you run out of time, you automatically transfer it to face the behemoth. If you want reach the objective area early, use a terminal to reopen lockdown areas or use a tent to set up an early camp. Each day, Justin has a limited number of hacking charges to break through into Imperial controlled territory. Some areas have Imperial emblems on them. These areas are about to be locked down. If you don't reclaim it before the day is over, they'll no longer be accessible. Okay, so that is a rare piece of equipment. In it. That's cool. Um, we can go up here. Get some more equipment. There's a food card thing there. Food expenser. Okay. I don't really want to fight these two. They look quite sizable. So it's through here. That contains equipment too. And there's another person there. Oh, okay. I don't know. Like, there's only so many places which... Hmm... Okay, that was one option, going this way. I like it because it's got epic equipment, like rare equipment right there. What's the other way? Armor. Coins. Healing. Okay, no, let's let's go... Let's go, um... This way and see what happens. It says I've got three charges until I have to leave, so... Alright. This is a breach, so... I guess this counts as one charge. These resistors think they're also great fighting us. Don't they realize all the struggle is meaningless when compared to them, the inevitable heap of the universe? It's important to keep these things in perspective. Yeah, fair enough. But that's a long way off, and I'd rather have some more time for having some fun first, but okay. Alright, so. We've got a slash, we've got a cleave, we've got a battle cry. So I don't know how to use that, annoyingly. Now, they're all going to attack this girl, so... Hmm. Which one seems the most dangerous is the biggest problem. Well, if we push this one there, he's the furthest away from breaking, so... Okay, considering how much health... How much... Okay, let's just grab this guy. It's fine. Alright. Discharge, always good, because... Oh yeah, that takes down his shields. Oh, then let's not... Let's, let's not do that, because if his shields are going down for free next turn, let's go for the one that doesn't have shields, and then we'll discharge, get rid of most of their shields, and then... Okay. One of them looks like it's already going to be breaking, or very soon to break, uh, maybe. Or is it? Let's see. I think he's he's enraged um, by a versus AoE. Oh, I see. Well, that one will break. That one could break. 
And that one would break him, which is probably a good idea. Let's break him. So yeah, we will break him. Wait, where is it breaking? Stunning. No, I wanted to break him. But where's your breaking ability? The Blitz, gotcha. Okay, so we go back. He does that. Oh, he's already broken just by doing that. Fair, okay. He comes in, gets rid of all the shield. Very nice. All right, I guess that's that. We still didn't have any um, health drain, so that's good. Okay, now she can use the battle cry. Um, don't know if it really matters which one. Taunt's enemy. Well, they're already all attacking me anyway, so let's just do it for the enraging effect. And then we'll see if we can kill one of these guys. We'll come very close to it. Okay, they're all gonna get me, one way or another. Let's get this one, because we might have a chance of killing him. Obviously, discharge is very good. Might even kill that guy if we're lucky. And then... That will become a kill shot on him, which honestly... Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Okay. Oh shoot. She's lost some health now. That's not good. She's losing a lot of help. Look at them, mother. Helpless. Go ahead, I dare you. Okay, he's he's overwatching now. He's he's gonna he's not gonna attack me, this one is. So let's let's just defend for now. And I'm gonna bestow shields upon her. And I think I used a trick shot, but I can't anymore. Okay. He will return fire if I don't fire on him directly. Okay. Let's fire on him directly then. Damn it, why couldn't that have been after I got the shield? I guess realistically. What much left after I'm done with you? Alright. I like this. It's like a JRPG. Right, I don't know where the roguelike comes in, but it's been quite fun so far. I don't have that many choices, do I? She's really going to get pummeled, isn't she? Because he doesn't do enough damage on his own. That's the problem. She does. But ouch is the answer there. I mean, it gets it closer to in, to breaking, so that's good. Oh, God, is that all I can do? I could bestow more shields upon her, but I don't think it's going to be quite class enough. That'll be the kill shot, though, so that'll be good. So we do that. He gets bashed over there. He then gets shot. Okay, cool. So now he's, he, she's just going to put up with one laser blast. Oh, God, that's getting close. I don't like that one bit. Let's just go for their weakest regular attacks and hopefully that'll be enough to kill him at this point. Well, it works, but god damn. Oh, cool. Oh, 
I guess I deserve that. Oh, that was one of them. That's why he was so powerful. Gotcha. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> I mean, you are right there. Okay. One end, I wasn't going to give it to her, but honestly... 30 much more HP is actually really good at the moment. It's better than nothing anyway. Probably won't give her the weapon, though. I mean, realistically, the best way would be to go for him first. Which means it wouldn't happen to him. He's also got an epic equipment right next to him. So... Level 1 enemy, gain equipment. Then we got another level 1 enemy, I assume. Yep. Well, for now, it's gain equipment. Alright, so... We've got a laser blaster, a reaver chip, and a shield stabilizer. Well, that actually gives you shields, which is crazy. Probably can go on all of them, can it? Yeah, okay, so if I equip, I can give her more shields. Insufficient level. Level 4. God damn it. Okay. Um, I'd rather do something that can... Steals two to three armor. Laser three, infected damage versus health. Hmm. I wish I could give it to her, give that to her. But instead, I think I'm gonna have to give once again to him. But he already got a new blaster. <sighs> oh well. Wait, if this version level him too. Oh, so that means he can only go. That means the only thing I can do here is a Reaver chip on her. Oh, uh, well, guess so. That's the only option I have. Are these the famous Syndicate Mushrooms Shrines of Meku? Meku usually keeps growth under control, but the Imperium's letting them bloom or ignoring them. Okay, I think Mekians might be over fertilizing a bit. Alright, so, go here and get some DNA. I have two relatively easy fights before we get a break. It also gives rare equipment. Thing is, if we go this way, if we go this way, we get here before the first day is even up. So that's fantastic. We can probably go back over here anyway and get this epic equipment. And we get this rare equipment. So I don't think that's the best way. Going this way seems like the best way, surprisingly. Not to mention it's more leveling up, which is also important. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh, shoot. That's not great news. Alright, he's going to immolate. Wait, okay. I can cleave, then he'll crit. So let's not cleave. Okay. Alright. Discharge, because there's nothing else I can really do. That does break him, which is good. Which means... One thing I can do is just a nice straight shot. Take down some of his armor. I think that's the only thing I can do. Yeah, pretty much. So that should break him though. That's the point. So yay for level 1 enemies. There we go. Broken. So he won't do his attack. And we take down a fair chunk of his HP. So that's good. So once again. Well slash. Get one crit. Increased damage. Titan strength. Problem is, I can't do it on her first, can I? She's gonna go first. Yeah, well, let's do that. Oh, no, it does work. Cool, it works straight away. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's fine then. Well, let's just discharge now. And then, because we can't really get him to die, we use trick shot. Ah, damn. It is very much a shame. We can't um, do that trick shot this turn. Oh, I see why we can't. Because he's already been staggered once. And that's all the only time he can be staggered. Gotcha. Okay. Only some only some uh, minor shield. That's uh, good. Especially her. Because she's going to need a lot of healing. 
So let's start and kill her. Kill him. There you go. Just, just, just do everything. Just kill him. Kill him. Let's get us overboard. Let's be nice, easy. Okay. Good move. And we can level up, but first, let's go to the DNA Vault. Problem is, I might have to level up her again. If I can afford it, I can't. Hmm. I could just wait another fight. But no. I think Preach might be a healing move. No, I'm piercing. Last two combat. Oh, Patter. Heal health. Shield defense. That's a card. Well, I'll take that one then, because uh, that sounds useful. Okay. Because, I mean, she's going to need healing after this, let's be honest. We should be able to take down this guy, though. He's only level 2. So we breach, and then we can have a campsite. We can go camp. I used to be a nobody, but now I'm a ranks of the Big Bad Imperium. Alright, so... We know this guy's the big bat, so if we can knock him in to break, that's good. Oh, well, that's nice and easy, isn't it? All right, so we can also get him closer. And in fact, ooh, that gets him really close, but not far enough. What if I was to reduce the... We'll get a straight shot on him while we can. Because we don't know if he's getting more powerful, and that knocks out his, his health quite a lot. But, getting off him as well. But, it's not going to stop the attack, so go for it. So, does both. She breaks him. Good job. Okay, and we still got more shields for her, which is fantastic. Now, we're getting closer on killing this guy, but I think for now... Break him, so he can't attack. Then, we could bestow shields. How much is she going to lose this turn? Um, a lot and some health. So if I bestow shields, what happens? She gets up to max. He gets down a lot. Okay. Problem is, my only other option is discharge. So I think at the moment, yes. Let's get, a slide. Let's get him up with the shield. Then, we need a trick shot. Now, if I do a trick shot like this, it stops her, him from attacking with that attack, which is good. He's already being broken, so we, he's the only person we got to stop, so let's do so. Okay, he's his trick shot. Fantastic, that should stun him. Beautiful. We go in, crit, break. Fantastic, so neither of them get to attack, and then he gets a nice free heal on her. Which is important because she's lost a heck of a lot of health. Take this, you low lives. I mean, okay, sure. You're you're really quick on your attacks, which is causing it to be very easy to stun you. But something tells me I won't be able to stun you this turn, so. Hmm. Alright, let's just overcharge. We can't really do much against him right now, so I think our best bet is get this guy close to death. Because he can't be stunned again until he uses an attack. It seems like the game's combat system is a lot easier to do than the tutorial um, suggested. So that's nice, at least. Alright, so that's bad, but it's not horrible. You see now, your mission is hopeless. Um, no. Take this, low lives. Okay. You've got very much a repeat, re repetition thing going on here. Okay, let's not do that, because that'll kill him. That'll be a late kill. Hmm... Defend means he, she survives. So let's do that because, ouch, is all I can say. We also bestow shields on her, but honestly, is there much point? If I use a discharge, I might kill shot this guy. Yep. Now, it's a shame I can't necessarily kill this guy, but if I'm lucky, I can probably break him. Yes, it does actually look like it. Let's send him to 1 to 0. So I know if that kills him or not. That does, though. I think they both do. It just isn't showing it. And under that circumstances, I think this one's a better shot. So, crit, he's dead. Most important thing. Second thing, so straight shot, crit, 
Come on, break him as well. Ah, damn it. Okay, she's still alive though. She's still alive and that's the most important thing. Now, he can be broken. Which also means she can safely get bestowed shields. And he can use a, a shield. I think that, he is stronger than he looks, honestly. I think the other guy who was, level, who was a high level is actually slightly better. Okay, shields back up to max. This is good. All right, so. Hmm. I really wish I could do more about that, but no. Let's slice him, get the crit. We can't do anything about that, so let's just do that weak attack. And then... Honestly, I kind of think a blitz might be better if I could just... If reducing his defense works, it might end up doing more damage towards him. Okay, so crit. Okay, he does his attack. Doesn't kill, most importantly. Oh god, they're burning. That's not good. Oh shit. Is he she gonna die now? Okay. She's still thankfully alive. However, he is retreating, which is a bad thing. So We've got to stop him. Oh shit, we're not going to be able to kill him, are we? He's just going to get away. Does that mean it counts as a win for him? Because I don't like that, if that's the case. Damn it. Alright. You have two days till the behemoth touches down. Good luck in there. And Justin will be ready for another set of charges in the morning, but consider yourself off duty until the rest of the night. If there's any catches your eye you want to investigate, feel free. You don't know what strange things might happen at night. When Justin charges you, use your squad as a rest of the night, you free explore the areas you've reclaimed and interact with people or side missions. Oh, that's cool. This game has a lot to it. I love it. Hmm, must be some flavor flow in so my loss. No other reason to explain it. Okay, so, but there's like, ooh, there's DNA there, for example. Also DNA here. Okay, and the weapon, of course. Alright. So. Ooh. Ooh. Steals health. That's cool. That one increases health, but it's also too powerful for me. That one's also too powerful for me. Okay, wait, but if I stash this... I should be able to go up a level with him, right? Yep, that's correct. Okay, and then if I go into my inventory, which I'm not sure how to do at all, so shoot, um, squad, click on him, okay, equipment, there we go, equip it, seals, health on all attacks, like it, like it a lot. Oh, do I still get to keep this other guy's stuff as well if I replace something? I guess so, that's good. It's nice that they're becoming friends already. That is good. Now a bit of DNA. Nothing bad. It says talk to people and do side quests, but like, do you see that? I certainly don't. Okay, let's head back to where we were. I will, I will decide on what I do with this time, wherever I go there. But there are other things I could do instead. Like, if I went up the northern area, there's nothing up there, is there? No, it goes all the way around to these things, which honestly looks way too strong for me. I think, realistically, the best thing I could do, if I had to, is go take this down, and if I can, go back here. But it does say this area is about to be locked down, which is bad. Which implies also so is everything else. Hmm, because it looks like that's what this is. I assume everything it is locked down at the moment, so there's nothing I can do about it anyway. Alright, let's just camp. And hopefully heal her up, because ow, she almost died. So can you heal yourself? Can you give yourself comforting words? Yes, you can. Fantastic. Attack's called bleeding. Eh? Okay, let's see what other bleeding people have first. Maybe someone else can heal her. That'll do. 
Hey, that's good. Also, I love the little robot who's also... Okay, let's give the rookie... There we go. And so you got the most damage, but you also did some pretty good stuff. Okay. So, these are free, apparently, so that's good. Very nice. Alright, so we still got one more we can use. This one's another free one, so good. Alright, now you can do armor piercing or attacks cause bleeding. Crit damage for 25. Honestly, I think armor piercing is probably better. Um... Oh god. Don't really want to preach at her, but okay. Wow, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh no, I'll do draw a mailing list. Oh god. It's a dystopian world, but really cool world. Rise and shine, globworms. Justin is up and ready to breach the Imperium force fields. Okay. Right, well, we can get to the objective right now. But... I want to go in here first. And hopefully kill this guy before he runs away. Now we know he can run away. That's bad though, but... I'd like to kill him if we can, so... And if not, hey! This video can't go on forever. I just kill those jerks and we all go home. At least that's what mom and mom have promised me. Oh god. Okay. Uh... Huh. Well, they don't actually have armor, annoyingly enough. So, so much for that, um... Attack through armor thing. Okay. None of these things can really help me. So, meh. I get some all crits. I don't like cleave. Cleave isn't great. Um, I think focusing on the boss right now is a good idea. He is very powerful. And with this one, obviously he does all. Okay. And then if we can get a straight shot, that does knock him down. But apparently it also knocks it down to zero. What? How's that work? Honestly, stopping for doing a laser storm sounds a good idea. So let's do that. So... He does everything. Very weak. That seems a lot more powerful. Straight shot. Which hopefully will bust it, but no, it doesn't look like it did. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, shield bot. Shamus. <laughs> Shamus. Like Sham Samus. You see now, your mission is hopeless. I mean, wouldn't say hopeless. But the prime dimension. Okay, Cluster Bomb really doesn't sound good, actually, no. Ugh, stasis, Shield Stasis. Well, you know, I don't have a shield to steal, so that's the best one for him to do. If I cleave... It's a still not crit, so slash... Gets him through all the shields, but honestly... Oof, I'm sorry, I feel like I probably might have wished to do this in a different order. Okay, she dies if I don't give her something. So, let's give her something. But honestly, I don't like my, my chances here. I think that attacking this may have been a mistake. Especially when I don't apparently have the ability to use quick trick shot. Okay. Okay, that does break that before it uses an attack called Cluster Bomb. So, let's break him. Okay, good thing is, he attacked before the shields got recovered. So that's good. That's actually a surprisingly decent outcome. I'll kill you for real this time. Alright, so. If I go this one, it's distribute shields. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, he can distribute the shields he's stolen. Oh no, that's... Okay, that will break the shield guy, so that's good. 
Then I got a straight shot. Which won't do anything. I could get this guy very close to death though. Blitz. That will break him again. So that's good. Obviously he's weak against that. So that's that's fantastic news. Alright, so he's broken. He won't attack. The shield bot is broken and won't attack very shortly. Good. So the shields will not get shared. So I've got to say, their health bar is not that... Okay, on the plus side, he was the one of the ones who could take it. God, he's got a really powerful attack. Gotcha. Okay, slash. Ooh, he's going to crit me. Honestly, oh god, I think I need to do a cleave. Nope, that still won't do it. Ah, oh, none of this will do it. He's just so strong. And that shield distributing is still happening. Ah, oh, I don't like this. I really wish I could stop him from being using that distribute shields. However, ooh, I could do. I could stun him. I think I've got to stun him. I think that's the best move. I don't know what he's charging towards, but then again, we no wait for a next later turn. That's a good point. I could stun this guy. I could stun this guy. I think the cluster bottom actually might be the best one to stun. But then again, the shields would be bad to recover. Yeah, but if I don't kill this... Okay, let's do this... Stop this guy, because I don't trust him. Okay, stunned. So he can no longer use that ability. Okay. He's still charging, so... It, who knows how many turns it's going to take. Worth it. He says that, but... Big hit coming. Death Beam. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I guess it's a good thing I didn't do it. Okay, crit is bad because that means he can get me first. That would be a kill shot. He's going to bestow shields on self. That would be a kill shot, but honestly, he's already on the ground. So I think the best bot is take down the death foot shot guy and hope this guy can do a bit of damage. And then a straight shot. Okay, that takes up a massive chunk of his his damage. Okay, this is going to be painful. I don't think any of my people are going to die, but it's going to be close. So like it's taking the um, XCOM Nemesis or the XCOM system where whatever that system was called, where you had these. Um, bad aliens who constantly keep turning you around in fights and like they'd be really strong. It feels a lot like that system. I'll kill you for real this time. Okay. So first things first, we are very close to killing him. That could be a kill slot on him. So I think that might be the best bet. Skill shot on the cluster bomb already, so we don't need that. However, we could bestow shields, and if we don't bestow shields, I think we're kind of screwed there. Actually, no, we're not. Apparently, doing it won't matter because he's already going to do that, so let's do that. Okay. And then straight shot. Okay, we kill shot that. Okay, I don't really need it to distribute. Let's just go for him. Oh, do I want to do it with that, though? That's a problem. Okay, Blitz maybe? Yeah, let's do the Blitz instead. Okay, that should be a kill shot, said. Yes, good. Okay. Oh god, is she gonna die? She's probably gonna die, right? Damn it. Okay. That was not what I was hoping for, to be honest. I was hoping that she'd survive that, but I guess no. I think she would have died either way, though, because of the way it didn't actually increase her at all.
I don't like this shield stealer. I just don't like losing my primary damage dealer. I once again do not know if I can actually kill him. I don't think I can. Damn it. Well, that was a massive waste. Gotcha. I was so thankful when I took down one of them, I thought I could take down another one. That was on me. If I was to play again, I'd be a little bit more... Uh, yeah. I mean, at least this shouldn't be too hard now. All he does is deals with shields, so... Pretty soon there won't be many shields to steal, let alone distribute. Does take down health though, which isn't good. God, and these guys just do not have the strength, the, the attack, do they? Okay. Well, she's back up, but she's not going to have much health. Well, that was painful. That was Justin. Reconstitute your body after your demise. Try not getting killed, and you won't have to do it again. Jason's still off. Yeah, he can bring it back, but it's likely you've sustained some permanent injuries. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Well, I don't know any, any health stations, but okay. Alright, new gear. Alright. Shield stabilizer. That's pretty cool. That one's even better. Let's put the shield stabilizer on her so we can actually use it. Okay. This one is quite weak, however, there's nothing there for me. So there's that. Also, can I go in there? Like, can I actually walk in there and do anything? Because currently I've currently used up one of my charges, but I wanna there's nowhere else I can really go directly. Okay. There we go. They're all locked down. Now the objective there. Hmm. Is there anything I can take or get? Well, this one enhances armor, so if nothing else, I can walk all the way back here and get that armor that I put back. Because all of my armor is gone. So, there's there's that, I suppose. Honestly, they did pretty well. They lost, though, so I, hopefully don't, I hope they don't gain more damage, is all I can say, but yeah. Honestly, I'm not really sure how much this helps, but all right. All right, now that contains credits. Full armor repaired. Wait, what? It lied to me. Okay, um, well, it's unfortunately got to be Valkyrie just because I do not wish her to die die again. Okay, it did actually repair full, full armor as well. Cool. This is one of those Gravillian Mega Temples I've heard of uh, from the Hollow Preachers. Well, Chulik's abandoned now and uh, filled with giant mushrooms. Anyone else smell the weird thing coming out of this banned temple? No? Just me? Alright. Ooh, he fully heals the party. And there's only two weak enemies between it. I say weak, but they're those annoying shield bots. So, I think this is the best bet. I'll go this way, past the two shield bots. Honestly, I took down the two strongest enemies first. Okay. I don't really like the shield bots. If I could make him, like, not shield my shields, that would be quite good. But everything else there is pretty weak anyway, so let's just do that. That'll be fine. Okay. Then discharge. And then... That will be a kill shot. Yeah, let's do it, because we all have all the shields, we just don't want them stolen, so... We killed him, that's the main, like, ability of this party gone. There's a reason he was the, um, lead. Okay. Now, this shouldn't get through his shields, right? Yeah. They're quite weak. Cool. If we can get through this with no damage, I would be a very happy person. 
Well, that won't break. But not yet anyway. Let's crit and see what happens. We'll also discharge again. And if we're lucky, we'll probably just kill him with a kill shot. And hope that this guy won't get through his shields again. Because he seems pretty useless for his, for his life. Now, this is a roguelike, so I'm actually meant to die at some point, but I don't want to. One thing I like about roguelikes is when you do your best not to die on the very first run. For as much as possible. Obviously, you do die eventually. It's impossible to break that, but... Uh... Okay. That should be enough. They will be absolutely annihilated. There we go. I think that is a positive. Good, and I've got some more ability to level up now, which is nice. Although, I honestly want to keep it for now, so let's just explore a little bit more. Alright. Cool. There also is some other things to do while we're around, because um, there's some coins just lying there as well. Okay. I do like how they clearly didn't like overly hurt me which is good all right let's go back up i think what we'll do is we'll camp over here i would very much like to go into this next area though and get the healing before we start this fight i think everything else though shield station would be nice but not versing that thing to get it honestly everything else seems pretty eh i wouldn't mind getting this imperium tech and getting another weapon so I'm um, have to make my decision based on how much we actually heal up during this uh, next fight, this next camp. So obviously we know who's getting the main pro focus. So let's once again heal you with your words. You mean words yourself? All right. What do we actually have here? You're also quite low on health, aren't you? So. Oh, I can only do it against a friend. That's a shame. I should have done the wor encouraging words to him instead. You want some Neurobu? Thanks. I can't believe how tough these enemies are. The smell, the smell alone is a challenge. You want to talk about the smell? I grew up in a pocket dimension a dump on Col Colnox. That smell that could raise a few hairs? Literally. Because when, uh, because when the dimension funnel was activated... All the trash had flowed around the whole neighborhood before it got sucked in. My buds and I would try to ride it, and it would be all good fun until little Simi and Rex got sucked into the trash dimension. How about you? Where'd you go? Where'd you grow up? Uh, mansion on Fiblosio. <laughs> but a crumbling mansion. <laughs> hey, cool. More health. That is exactly what those two needed right now. All right. Max shield is probably the best bet. Not perfect, but it'll do. Alright, and I still have a little bit more put the fun in fundamentalism. Oh god. Let's do that, just because it means a total 25% crit on him when he does a crit attack. And it seems like we do nothing but crits at the moment. We saw terrible things today. I'll never get these stains out of my mech armor. Worry not, I will share the sacred stain removal secret of the Titanium Blotherhood. The formula is tightly held secret. I'm honored. Alright, more health. Beautiful. Alright, there we go. Well, we've unfortunately only got one option here. Um, actually, what was that? Is he getting a new attack? Ooh, Celestial Smash. Now that sounds like a very useful thing for someone who otherwise doesn't have very much ability beyond his AoE. So, good. Um, let's go here and then hopefully we'll be able to heal. Depend on whether we can kill this thing, but I'm thinking we can because we were able to kill it quite easily before. We just gotta take down this shield bot quite quickly before it, you know, shield steals everything we have. So, let's get him. So, we've got Discharge, which does everyone. We got such a smash, which still does everyone. Holy hell! That is, he is very powerful, isn't he? Oh god, and we get a second kill strike, a kill strike in one go. We killed two of them in one shot, in one 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 turn.
Okay, so the downside is it doesn't actually... It's not actually crit fully, but that's okay. Honestly, this is this is still okay. I think we're all going fine. In fact, now this is one time... Oh no, I really do want to tackle before he gets me, so... Alright, let's go. So, Celestial Strength. Or Discharge. Let's do a regular Discharge so we can do it quickly. And we'll do a straight shot to get him, and then no one gets hurt. Not that once again it matters, because... The Imperium uses the same healing symbol as I was to mention. Which is a good thing, because, uh... You'll find a number of these health kits thrown across the Imperium held territory. You can use them to replenish your health. I definitely will, yes. Because we've now got full armor back and full health back. Now the question is, is there anything else we want to try and take down? Some things look weak, like the Werum looks pretty weak. That looks pretty strong. That also looks pretty strong. Let's just have a look at him. He's a basilisk grunt, but it enhances shields. I don't really think shields are my biggest issue at the moment, so I think we're okay. We've got two options here. And I think, yeah, killing this guy is probably the best bet. However, we could then go forward to the Mako drone and get food as well. Yeah, let's go that way. I was going to go this way because it was quicker, but there's literally nothing down here. So who wants that? Not me. I really do like this though. This has been a fun game. Obviously, I think after this particular fight, we'll be done for the day, but um, I will definitely be playing more of this. I will probably wait until after the video comes out, just in case anyone requests another episode, but I've had a pretty good time. Alright, it's only him, so he's pretty easy to deal with, because, yeah. And if he's going to be broken, then I can use the Celestial Smash with no problems. And speaking of things I can do with no problems... Um, I could do a trick shot. Could do a blitz. Blitz would probably be the way to go. So, comes in, increases the damage for everyone else. She goes in, does a nice jump. Oh yeah. Then he comes in, does a big ass smash. Perfect. And he can't do a thing about against me. Beautiful. Let's use a battle cry. It's already going to attack me anyway. That's okay. But that does give me the ability to do another slash on him. Or a cleave. Wow, that cleave is still a crit. So, yes please. Um, then we can do a celestial smash again. Which is still a crit somehow. And then we can do a trick shot and stun him and kill him. He's stunned. He's bleeding. And he's gone. He's out of here. Good job. All right. Gain equipment. All right. Pretty uh, mediocre by all standards. Um, we do have some gauntlets, though, which is increasing that. Um, it's burning, those gauntlets there. Okay. They can only be equipped by him anyway, so there's not a point. So the Reaver chip is the only one we can really get. But the question is, who gets it? It's got to be him. Uh, actually it does it. It's level 1. So I should give it to him because then he can get more on his AoE attacks. He's got so many good AoEs. Okay, final thing is we'll go through here. We'll try and take down this guy if we can. We should be fine. We've got full health. We got through that last one without any damage, which is fantastic. Okay, this one might be a little bit harder. That's okay. We can jump in and hopefully break one of these guys. We can break this guy and wow! And not only break him, but like... Slash, like smash him, and we get to kill him in one shot. Fantastic, and then we get to kill another one. Um, who's worse? That one's. Hmm. What are the two moves? A direct slice, which will take down all that guy's shields. Or okay, I feel like the other one's more powerful. Gotcha. Let's do it. Okay, those two go smash. And then I gotta take down him. Which is gonna be really, really easy, because apparently it's 
Anything will do at this point. Oh, perfect. And here I was being afraid of doing that. There we go. Bunch of extra DNA. And we get a food card. Okay, max shields permanent. Exhaust when used. Well, I like that one, especially for our friend with the gun who has like no shields. We also get some more DNA, which is lovely. Not that it's very much, but still. Now, before I go back, I just need to check the same thing over here. There is DNA right in the other far area. Okay, well, I'm not going to say no to free DNA. And then we'll stand right near where we're meant to be for the final boss. Because I'm guessing that will be what happens. The final boss will be soon. We are at full health, we have full shields, and she is no longer damaged anymore. Honestly, I cannot see how this could have went any better unless we managed to actually kill those two people we bit off more than we can chew on. Question is, will they get more powerful or not? They did escape, but I did win. So it's not like they beat me. Right? I don't know. I like this game. I, I like it. And I do like how much freedom of choice they're giving me. And without taking away the goodness of a roguelike that's like risk and reward. Like if I had won those fights, hey, I did win those fights and I did get an epic weapon out of it, for example. But like if I had won those fights, um, yeah, it would have been good. But no time already. All right. What's the stress over here? Um, it would have been good, but like. If I won them, it would mean better because I would have gotten all the rewards from killing him. And it was worth the try, right? Alright, so. Let's start by giving this to the guy with the weakest stuff. So you can take the shield cores. There you go. Probably actually is for once, so that's good. Alright, healing health, not really worth it just now. Let's see what else we've got here. Your pamphlet, max shields, us two combats. Let's, uh, that's two though, that's a lot. Piercing might be better. But piercing for myself might be better. Oh, no, it's got to be someone else. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's preach to her again. Although, he was also at a higher level. So, maybe I should get him to do something back to this guy. So that they can be friends. You know, Zurich, I've never noticed your eyes. They're really beautiful. Piercing, even. <laughs> Look like you might be rough... <laughs> looking right through me and reading all my thoughts and desires. That's exactly what I am doing. My eyes are highly advanced, data and analytics system. Oh, cool, cool. All good. Do they have any creepy red glow all the time? I added that feature myself. Cool, I like it. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's just a little creepy, that's all. Okay, extra stagger and shield regen. Hmm, not bad. All right, so. Heal health isn't required, but shield defense is good. I think attacks cause bleeding might be useful for this guy. So let's do that. In fact, let's just really go all out on his attack, because his attack is so powerful against a group. Which probably means we'll only be fighting one enemy, but still, you know. Alright. This is it. Honestly, we're fully healed. We could not be better, better prepared than for this fight. He must have arrived. Yep, we know that. Alright, citizen, do not approach our dig site. You will be, you, we will be done soon. Return to your homes, or you will be terminated. That big ugly thing over there is a behemoth. And just as willing to extract Mecha's priceless Titan Core. This is your only chance to stop it. Fail, and the Imperium invasion fleet will be here by the end of the day. Wait, really? That's... That's quite directly terrible. So I know it's an awkward turn task, but what is a Titan Core? Never mind, guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Fascinating. I'm surprised it actually... Oh god, he looks big and scary. He's probably... Oh, yep, it is only one. As I thought. Okay, so yeah, definitely was no point in upping him. Gotcha. Well, inspired. Allies get inspired. So that's good. We'll just jump straight in. Do a slash and not do very much at all. Okay, so, all right, so we've got cleave, which gets us down pretty far. He will crit me if I do that. So let's just do a slash, because we really would rather break him if possible. We do a celestial slash, which is probably a good thing, or a discharge. I think a celestial smash is good. And then a straight shot, which still is enough to break him. So 
How about Blitz? That'll break him. Okay. I probably should do the uh, thing on him. Oh, well. All right. And finally, break. Cool. So we basically got rid of his half of his shields without getting any damage to us at all. He also, unfortunately, though, has to get another shot out next turn, which means she is going to get damaged. Unless... If I use defense, what's the difference? So if I use attack, what happens? She goes down to 13. But if I do this, it stays up. So I think I'm going to defend. Now, as far as I know, she's only attacking me. He's only attacking me. So another Celestial Slash wouldn't hurt. Or Discharge. I think a Celestial Slash is probably the best bet. So let's do it. I wish I could use the trick, the trick shot, but we can't. A Blitz would be helpful, but uh, not when he's not able to um, get damaged. So let's do this, and we should be fine. So, first attack. Shield's down, but that's okay. You're a trophy of restricted area. You will now be submitted to potential extrajudicial punishment, such as, but not limited to, excruciating pain, dismemberment, and death. Okay. Alright, so, bullet hell, I assume, is going to attack everyone. That is correct. So this is one we definitely need to break, which apparently is really easy to do. Cool. I'm going to spend this time bestowing shields on her because I do not want to have that shield go down too much. I know this is the last enemy, but I just, it just feels like a really good idea. She's already breaking him, so it's fine. Yeah, so he's broken. Straight shot. Really would like to get through his shields. And his armor, he's got 35 armor as well. I feel like that's the best bet, right? So... Everyone's pretty much at full health, and he can't be stopped this time, but they're basically... Wait, what? Is that going to damage him? I thought Billet Hell was going against me, too. Okay. I guess it doesn't really matter what I use. I think I'll use a cleave, then, to help get down his um, armor. Oh, God. Okay, then maybe we should just just de defend them. Why don't we just defend? Shield goes, nothing else goes. Shield goes, nothing else goes. Okay, now this guy looks like he can actually attack anyway, probably because of his massive shield upgrade. Um, and have a very similar outcome. So, let's just get him to attack this turn. No one else. Everyone else can defend. It's fine. Alright, so he gets... There we go. Ow. You will soon die at my hands. Do not bother dispersing. My mind will not be changed. It's okay. We can now stop him a couple of times. This is a Gamma Beam, which apparently is going to be targeted directly at me. And doesn't look like it's actually going to be too powerful. But um, if I use a Cleave on him, I... Oh, I almost die if I use a Cleave. Interesting, though. Okay, I think a Slash is the only way. And then we can use a... That'll do it. That'll do a break. That will not. So let's do a regular Discharge. Nice, quick. Get in smashed. And then we'll use a Strike Shot. And... God damn, he's got so much health. Yeah, it's not so much health as it is his armor, which will hopefully be able to start damaging now, right? Yeah, he's under 30. He was at 33. It's, it's a, it could be a little bit better. Okay, Gamma Beam again. I think, oh god, I think Defend is the only option for her. Especially since she's gonna, he's gonna have to do it this time around. I also wish I could bestow shields upon her. Now, it's not necessarily gonna help, uh, this round, but it will next round, so that's fine. And he, oh, he can use a, a trick shot and stun her anyway. Oh, okay. Never mind. And she doesn't need to defend. She can cleave him, and he can use his trick shot. Okay. That was about as effective as it could have been. Down 26 napalm missiles. They also sound quite terrifying, yes. Um, they also sound like they're going to attack everyone, so... i just keep cleaving. At this point, we can't stop him, so we might as well... Oh, actually, oh yeah, let's, let's sort of bestow shields on him. If we do that... Hmm... He only goes down a little bit, so that would be the best bet. And you can just do his trick shot, which will apparently take down a bunch of that, so that's good. Bunch of, bunch of armor. Go. 
Okay, good. He does it before this attack. And he's the only one who really has low shields anyway, so that was good. Okay, we're good. Still pretty much on almost max HP, so fantastic news. Still alive, how presumptuous of you. What was that? Oh god, he's rebooting. What does that even mean? Breaking, he's got an overwatch attack though, so... It's worth it. I can't then uh, reboot. Oh god. It's going to affect him on all of them? Oh, his overwatch is really powerful. Got it. Um, use his time to heal him. And then use another straight shot. So she breaks him. So hopefully he doesn't do anything terrible. It's okay. We're fine. Okay. So, we can slash, though he's still on Overwatch. Though that reboot was really annoying. Um, apparently he's going to do it again, too. Hmm. Well, for the first time. I didn't know if he actually got it off before. Honestly, slash your smash is worth it. His health is always, his, his arm is almost gone. I hate that he's going to get a free shot on all of us with this overwatch. But I think we got the shields for it, so it's fine. I hope you enjoy the Never Journey to Never Realms. Just kidding. There is no afterlife. Death is final. Existence is meaningless. Oh, Rick, hey. Alright, he's doing bullet hell. This could be bad. Oh, apparently not. No, it's actually he's uh, not doing very much damage at all. Oh, this will break him. That's why. All right. Well, let's just go all out then. I think we're about to kill him too next turn. Okay, let's get a bow cry. And a slash. And a celestial slash. No, he crits at that point. That's a regular one for now. And straight shot. Oh god, it's not doing as much as I was hoping, but that's okay. Ooh, that's getting worse, but that's okay. It's okay. I think... Okay. This is definitely his turn to die. So, I don't even need to do anything for that then, so let's just go. Do it! Yep, and one more. Bam! I don't know what his religion is, but he's bloody strong. When he wants to be. Oh, and... Mother, I have failed you. Ah! That's interesting. So he must not count as one of the re re recurring ones. It's a kill or die sort of deal. I've never seen such raw power on the battlefield. You managed to keep the Titan Core out of the Imperium's hands. It looked great doing it. I guess that's made to deliver bad news. Intelligence supports another Imperium instruction oper operation. This time on Norish. Which means you have to terminate another behemoth. Well, good news. You're going to have a chance to smash some intergalactic interdimensional raiders. So rest up, spend some credits and new gear at the merchant. We also invited some potential new recruits. We're in a great stride. Like you, they're the best fighters this galaxy has offer. But I'll give you the final decision of who makes up your team. They're away at base camp for you to interview them. When you're done, transport shuttle will take you to drop point on Norsh. Hmm. I wonder if our heroic example has inspired others to join up. Because I could really use a break. I mean, I don't think anyone's getting a break, because you're all actually pretty high levels. Hmm. Well, thankfully, because of this... Ooh, that's 30 attack for her. That's an 8 if you crit. Hmm. I think Valkyrie's probably the way to go.
Weapons merchant. Can we sell stuff to you? Hmm, don't know. Um, Pyrobaster un uncommon. Penetrates armor. Inflicts burning. That's pretty good. That also makes her his attacks go even faster. He's already pretty damn fast. Hmm. Let's look at what the gadget merchant has to offer. He's already has some pretty good gadgets equipped, so that's not really important to me. I just want to point the blaster. If, if you just want to point, if your justice is a point of blaster, you found your man. And if you want to know what you're about your presence of mind controlling nanobots and public water supply, you've also found your man. Wait, what? Wow, look at all the giant guns. I'm sure Rugged Loner would only ever use those weapons for good. This is going to be great for research. For my next pirate self-help book. Buccaneers versus Buccaneers. How to find yourself looting and pillaging. Wonder what would be more useful in a fight against the Imperium. Bentley space piracy skills or his ability to provide comfort and motivation through self-help books. Oh cool, so I just get to keep him? That's good. Um, but first of all, I think I want the Pyro Blaster. Let's equip the Pyro Blaster. Oh, he's not the high enough level yet. Ugh, okay. Do you also use the blaster then? Yeah, you do. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. I could steal the shield sword too. Stealing armor would be pretty good, so sure, go for it. I do wish I could sell stuff though, but I don't have anything to sell, so I guess there's not much point yet, so. Alright, I think we're good here though. Like, this is looking fun. I can see myself going back to play this more. It's got a really interesting aesthetic, great music, great gameplay, and I've been having a whale of a time. So, yeah, this is good. Be interesting to play it some more later. Ah, uh, can I have up to six people with me at once? Because that's pretty great if I can. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Six is a really massive, really huge size. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me. This has been Star Renegades. If you like what we see, I think this was a uh, game given out by Humble Bundle. Uh, Humble Choice at some point, so you probably got it too if you got that. Otherwise, I'll put a link down in the description down below if you like what you saw here. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on my Mountain of Shame. This has been Star Renegades. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.